kitchen we got it going now um we are going to make we have company coming out coming up tonight so we're going to make a no-bake dessert we're going to make a no-bake chocolate eclair cake i haven't made these in years so you're going to need two boxes of what did i do with that box over here Two boxes of the vanilla instant pudding. Um, if you want to do the cook and serve, that's fine. And these are the big boxes. They are 5.1 ounce and 145 grams. So, um, normally I just fold in a container of whipped topping. My whipped topping completely melted on the way back from the store. So I tried to save it and I added some heavy whipping cream to it and it didn't thicken up as long as I it. So we got two boxes of vanilla pudding in here. So I'm not going to put milk on one of them. I'm just going to do the back of one of them and put two cups of milk because the, I said the other two cups liquid is this. I'm hoping I'm explaining it right. I just try to have to try to save my poor wet top, wet topping. Um. So if you were just didn't have to worry about that, you would need two boxes of vanilla pudding, the big one, and an eight ounce um, container of some Cool Whip or whipped topping, and your um, milk that it calls for in the back. Okay. You could probably get out of with one box, but I like a lot of vanilla pudding in my eclair cake. So just two cups of milk. And we're just gonna beat everything together. I've got a 13 by 9 dish. I've layered it with graham crackers for the first layer. I'm using honey graham crackers, but if you want to use cinnamon or plain, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this pudding, put a layer down. We're going to spread it out. Try not to mess or little graham crackers up that is on the bottom to form a layer. Put a little bit more in this corner. Okay. We're just going to spread it out even. This is all about layering in this dish. Okay, now we're going to come back with another layer of graham crackers. And I kind of push them in the pudding a little bit. when you get to the corners and stuff you might have to break in half and make them fit like a puzzle piece all right 
we're going back with some more popping. So you're going to break your filling into thirds. Because we're going to try to get three layers. Okay. Back with more graham crackers. Let me get my other pack. You're probably going to go through a whole box of graham crackers. Two. Anybody saying anything? <clears throat> Even if they're I can't see. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just going to show these other two little pieces that are in here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I'm not sure if I'll need one or two. I've got two. You're just going to take some store-bought icing. We're going to take the full part off. Make sure you get it all the way off because we're going to put this in the microwave to get it a little bit runnier so we can just pour Make sure you get it all off so we want no want no sparks flying in your microwave. Uh, we'll do about 30 seconds and look at it. I said we'll need to, but we'll find out. It's been a while since I made this in a big 13 by 9. Usually I just make it an 8 by 8. But since company's coming... Thank you, viewers from North Carolina. Thank you, Sarah, from Florida. I think we'll need both of them. Is this poor boy up? Get a spoon. I'm also going to get my other container and pop it in, too. So I have a feeling. We're going to need the second one. I just want it pourable. You might have to stir it. No, it's not pourable yet. So the first one will go back in for another 20 seconds. One viewer had a question as to whether or not this dessert should be eaten immediately after preparing so that it doesn't get soggy or does it get soggy after it's It sits? gets the, you know how the vanilla wafers get in um, vanilla pudding, kind of like soft? That's what your graham crackers is. You need to chill it at least two hours or more for it to set up even more. And then, then you can cut it in squares and serve it. Remember back in the day, the icebox cakes? That's kind of what, I think that's how it came about. Where you use cookies and graham crackers and all kinds of stuff. And that is perfect. So, I'm going to stick that in for what I did this for. See, this is our runny texture. See, you need a pourable texture. I need a straw. <laughs> 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 Wait till this one gets done so I can have both and carry my pack over. Or you can make your own chocolate icing. You could make your own vanilla pudding. You can make your homemade whipped uh, cream out of heavy whipping cream. You can also do different flavors instead of vanilla pudding. I think it'd be good with caramel, um, French vanilla, I love French vanilla, cheesecake, feel it, cheesecake, you know the pudding, 
That'd be really good. I think white chocolate would be good. There's just, but the classic uses vanilla. Okay, we're back over here. And now we are just gonna put this final pudding mixture. Ooh, and it's already set up. I'll be good. Let me. I seen a piece of little block of some powder that wasn't mixed in real good. even more. And you're just going to spread it out. And don't worry about this layer because you're going to cover it up with all the chocolate icing. Go with her. Awesome now. Depends on if you want a thin layer or thick thick layer. <clears throat> Scrape all your ice and out. I wanted a little bit thicker layer then. Let me stir this one. This one didn't get stirred. Lord, I've already made a mess. It's all over my shirt already. Now this will harden up this icing, you know, because we're going to chill it so it's be able to slice real pretty. Okay. And then all you do is cover it, put it in the refrigerator. I probably going to chill it since this is a bigger thing, 9 by 13. I'm probably going to chill it more than a couple hours. Company's not supposed to come up till this evening, so I think I'll have pl plenty of time to chill up. And then, um, you just, you'll be able to cut it in squares and serve it. So, I will see you back. For the next live. Bye everybody. Thanks for popping on. Bye bye.